Welcome back, everyone. Joining me live in the studio, I have Miss Kimberly Campbell. She is the AARP Mississippi State Director. Thank you for being here, Miss Campbell. Thank you for having me. Looking forward awesome, to it. Awesome, awesome. So let's talk about it. You're here to talk about a Broadband Connect workshop. So tell me what's going to be happening at this workshop. Okay, well, first of all, you're right. The Broadband Connect workshop will be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, well, no, what's today? Yes, Thursday. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're right. It's okay. <laughs> the 29th. Thursday, the 29th. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be on the campus of MUW, the Thad Cochran Building, at 6 o'clock p.m. We've been doing these workshops across the state. Uh, we're in uh, conjunction and collaboration with Brandon Presley, one of nice. our, you know, public service commissioners, and we've been working with some of the other public service commissioners right. to bring this to the people. Uh, just a quick little background. Mm -hmm. uh, in this past legislative cycle, uh, one of our biggest bills that ARP was really a part of, mm -hmm. as well as all the public service commissioners, was pushing the broadband uh, legislation. So yeah. that bill was passed. Okay. And so what we're hearing from a lot of people, especially in the rural areas, is is, well, what does that mean? You know, mm -hmm. unfortunately, sometimes they thought that meant that was my next question. Like the next day, I was going to have broadband yeah. in, in my area. Right. Unfortunately, that's not how that works. Okay. <laughs> the electric co-ops have a lot to do with that. But mm -hmm. this is a time to where in your area, like, like this one will be in Columbus. Mm -hmm. So some of the electric co-op people would be there, and they can speak to you about what their plans are because each nice. electric co-op is responsible for bringing it to their individual areas. Very you nice. Know? Absolutely. So this is a free event, and um, uh, let's see, what should people come prepared to ask, maybe? What do you think about? You know, definitely ask about how this may impact your bill, but really mm -hmm. what you get from it. Yeah. So, you know, many times people are a little confused about, well, wh wh why would this be important to me? Right. Uh, especially with, our, with ARP, our demographic is 50 plus, mm -hmm. you know, and their families, and that yeah. really impacts everybody. Absolutely. And so what we found in some of the meetings that we had before the bill was introduced mm -hmm. was that, you know, we have a lot of grandparents across the state of Mississippi that are raising grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And amazingly, they were more concerned about having that high-speed internet for their grandchildren as far Aww, as educational purposes, right. more so than just their own. But that, that's Mississippi, right? That's that how we do it. That's how Mississippi too. grandparents do it. <laughs> so also to combat social isolation, to help them with, you know, job seeking, distance learning, and also telehealth. And so it's something for everybody. Absolutely. All right. You see the information there on your screen. It is happening tomorrow, August 29th. Call that number you see on your screen for more information or visit the website. Ms. Campbell, thank you so much for Thank you for having here. me. Help me back again. Oh, we will. We will. All right. We're going to take a break. Jacob has your forecast after this.